Hey Murdoch families, it's Andy Hodgen again, and I just wanted to um, talk with you a little bit about hyperactivity. Um, I have been looking at your survey results and noticed that um, second place above boredom, below, right below boredom, was hyperactivity. And um, that is something that I am very familiar with in my house. So um, we are going to show you, I'm going to show you a quick video clip of what is currently happening in my house with hyperactivity just to kind of make you laugh a little bit. Um, I don't know why Ace of Base was playing in our home, but um, you know, it happens. So here is some hyperactivity at the Hodgen house. And <laughs> So yeah, that is hyperactivity at my home. So when I say I understand hyperactivity, you can see that I understand hyperactivity. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that clip as much as I've enjoyed that clip um, of Harrison in some weird costume all over the place. But we're gonna talk about why it happens. Um, just when children have a lot of excess energy or um, some kids are more sensitive and they need more what's called input and um, just they just need more stimulation, They're either, either their bodies or their brains. Um, so I have found a great resource for you guys. Um, so you don't resort to playing Ace of Base and having a dance party, which all oh, that, that's good. Having that too is fun. Um, but some other resources that you guys can use that is really fun um, and can help your child with that hyperactivity to get some of that energy out, um, to give their bodies what they need. Because sometimes kids can't tell us, hey, I need some um, activity or I need this or I need that. Their bodies just start going all over the place. Um, so here are some activities and I will link this up to our webpage as well. Um, so we're gonna look at these activities and called heavy work. Um, and it's just kind of something that you can have your child do. So here are some playtime activities. They can climb a tree, they can push someone on a swing, a family member, obviously, do an obstacle course around your house, um, a pillow fight, animal walks, that means like crab crawls, um, bear walks, um, they can play catch with bean bags. They can carry a pile of books. Um, they can carry, a, they can do the wheelbarrow walking. They can, if you have an inside bike, have them do that, push on a door. Army crawling is really, really good. Um, so climb up a slide if you have a slide in your, in your, back, in your um, backyard. Um, crawl backwards using their house their hands, ride a scooter board on their tummy, um, do push-ups, knead or play Play-Doh. Um, so you can see that there's a lot of different things. Play and catch with a large ball. Um, play statues. So there is a lot of things that they can do activity-wise um, that is really gonna help get some of that extra um, activity, extra energy out of their bodies, um, hard work there, and this will also help with their attention and focus. So if you can do some of these activities, it will add um, about 15 minutes of attention and focus for when it comes to schoolwork. So if you find that your child is getting frustrated or they're distracted or they're hyper, try some of these activities for at least 15 minutes. Um, and then what you can do is have them do some work. This is really, really helpful um, because it does help them expend that extra energy that they need, that their bodies honestly need to get out. So um, we do this at home all the time. Before we start any assignment, you can saw my hyperactive child. Um, 
was just, and we, we did the dancing actually helped kind of get some of that energy out too. Um, but this, it helps him with his attention and focus. Um, you're going to love this parents because I love this too. Heavy work activities for kids, indoor chores and outdoor cho chores. Believe it or not, chores are great for children that are, are hyperactive. Um, they may whine and complain, but it's actually going to help their bodies. So, you know, carrying groceries, unloading the dishwasher, um, you know, helping with the grass, helping carry large rocks or moving things, push a wheelbarrow. I'm sure y'all have a lot of um, chores that you can be doing outdoors right now while you're home. So these are all really good chores that can help your child with that hyperactivity. And again, remember, it's, it's something that they need, just like we need water or food. Um, kids need to get their energy out. So um, indoor chores, pulling the laundry out of the washer and dryers, um, sort recycling, carry large bottles or boxes around. And I know that feels like, especially with younger children, um, I know I have that with my, my child because he is younger. Of, oh, I don't know if he can carry that. You'll be surprised. They're like army ants. They can carry like three times their, their little weight. So, um, so just, you know, try to do that with them. I know that that may seem like, oh, that doesn't feel right, but it really does help children. It helps them with their focus and helps give them that input that their body is needing at that time. Um, so it's really, you know, push, a, push, no, don't push a shopping cart right now. Um, vacuum, sweep, mop, um, move furniture if you need to. So move the garbage. That's a good one. My son is five and is able to do the garbage. Um, so please just kind of take these into consideration um, that, you know, at this point, we all need help with our families. Um, and that you are actually helping your child just as much as you are getting help from them by helping them with the with with some of these chores. It helps give them the input that their bodies need right now. Um, again, hyperactivity can be just a sign that I'm anxious, I'm bored, um, and you'll see the you know all the hyperactivity come out. These are some great ways on how to do that. And you know what? If you'd like to put on some old school music and have a dance party. That's great too. That helps with the energy as well. So um, again, costumes always help. That's fun play too. Uh, but I just wanted you guys to know you're not alone. Hyperactivity happens at educators houses just as much while we're trying to work at home and um, we're in the same boat that you are. Um, or similar, we know we're, everyone's circumstances is different, but we, we, we want you to know that we are um, understanding too. So um, again, you can Zoom conference call with me and your child, something comes up, I'll always give you a call back. I just wanted to make sure that we focused on hyperactivity because that was something you guys said that you're seeing at your house. So I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day. Hope you had a good laugh. I know that video always makes me laugh too. So um, I will see you guys soon. Bye.